what took place. Instead, mother takes me to my first scan. A nurse points to a small screen, a moonlit body alive inside my belly shows me that my childhood will end. We don't speak of what took place. My father's funeral had flashed by. Mother plastered her grief with a grin. Met a new man with whom she would drink. From day one I knew I didn't like him. Still didn't stop her from wearing his ring. Before we knew it he had moved in and I soon got used to his eyeballs lingering, his mouth frothing and my tightening school uniform, his hands grabbing like private parts were reduced price items at a corner store. We don't speak of what took place. My mother became a noiseless siren. I learned the hard way to stop ringing. Her warmth, an active volcano, my feet would grow to tiptoe around. In my bedroom, I would shield from his shadow, a safe space where I'd dream so big and wide, I didn't recognize my surroundings, secure from what lurked outside. Until he forced his way in, Trapped me beneath a body reeking of rum. I tried to run and fight, cried for a ghost to rescue me from the imposter I wished dead instead of my father. My screams drained into dried blood. A voice said, you had it coming. And I felt my soul Descending, my near breathless body no longer safe, but frozen under his weight. My mother's figure in a dim corner, her red eyes twinkling with what I wished was a tear. We don't speak of what took place. At 14, I am cradling new life and a fresh wound, while laughter from a nearby play park flows through a maternity ward window. At the sound of a hopscotch game I used to love, my stitches ache. After all that silence, a child cries in its place. You can't change Amy's story, but you could change the stories of thousands like her. Visit amnesty.org.za to take action.